In today's video, I am talking about why I'm buying gold buffaloes whenever I can. There's a bunch of reasons why I'm buying gold buffaloes whenever I can, and I'm going to share those with you right now while I am filming this video. For visual purposes, I will put the gold buffalo up there and the gold eagle on the upper right hand side. And in fact, I'll put these side by side for you just so you can kind of see them right now before I put them down. I lift things up, I put them down. Um, anyhow, yeah, I say random stuff at times. You guys are just going to have to get used to that if you're watching this channel. By the way, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Check those out. Really, really nice. You can kind of see the difference in the color there between the two. Anyhow, let me put those aside. I digress when I'm looking at these things. Anyway, I'm going to compare the two coins and let you kind of be the judge. And maybe some of you will agree. Some of you will disagree. But that's the whole purpose of these videos. Is so that way we all can chime in and kind of share our thoughts with one another so we can all grow as stackers. First thing I want to do is discuss what most of us look at when we are buying gold, especially in this day and age where the spot price is in the mid-1900s. So right now I'm going to talk about the cost. So for the cost, what am I writing there? It looked like a little heart there. Cost. All right, the cost. Right now, as I look at the prices online, right now the American Gold Eagle for 2020 sitting at around 2000 Sixty dollars, and that is according to Appmex. Okay, that is where I am pulling these prices from right now. The gold buffalo once was a more expensive coin, and there were reasons why the gold buffalo was more expensive, which I will get to in just a minute. Back in the day, though, I would always purchase the American gold eagles because they were more cost effective when adding gold to my stack. But now, what ended up happening, and I'm not entirely sure as to why there was this shift, and maybe some of you watching this will be able to share, but the price of the gold buffaloes have become more in line with the price of the American gold eagles. So right now, the buffalo sits at $2,060 on Atmex's site for 2020. So right now, I can't really say that the gold buffalo is a better coin than the American gold eagle when you're looking at the cost alone on one ounce of gold. Yes, I'll talk about the purity and all that stuff in just a minute, but when we are just looking apples to apples and looking at the price of the one ounce of gold, right now they are kind of sitting at the same price. So one isn't more cost effective than the other. So right now I'm actually going to make this basically neutral, right? Neither of those two will take a check mark for this exercise here that we are doing. The next thing I'm going to take a look at is the purity. And this is where this does come into play, the 2060 bucks. And I also looked at JM Bullion and Provident and whatnot, and all of the prices, like any date uh, American Gold Eagles are the same as any date Gold Buffaloes. You can check um, <clears throat> but the purity for an American gold eagle is 0.9167. So this is not 100% pure. It's 91% pure. The other metal that it's mixed in with is copper. And you can kind of see it's got that orangey kind of glow to it, if you will. That tint, that hue. But it definitely has that more warm kind of color to it. When you look at the buffalo, it's a bit more yellow in color, right? You can kind of see the difference between the two side by side, right? This is yellowy. This is more kind of like a gold, deeper, has like a deeper color to it, more of like an orange. In terms of the color, when I'm talking about... Um, you know, which one I like better in terms of color, kind of like this one a little bit more. Um, and that's actually something, and this is preference. This isn't really even like fact. This is completely opinion as we're on the topic, right? So the American Gold Eagle is 
Got a more of like an orange color. I like this one better. I'm going to give the American Gold Eagle a point. But purity, 0.9167. The purity of the buffalo is four nines fine. And when I say four nines fine, it is pretty much almost 100% pure. And you can see the purity right there along the bottom. Four nines fine. Very, very pretty coin. This is just says one ounce fine. So when we are talking about the purity and which is more pure, we're going to give the check mark to the gold buffalo. Okay, so we got one point each. But now this is where we kind of revisit the cost. This O is bothering me there. This one being that it's four nines fine, that it's more pure. Some will argue that this is the better buy. And I also believe in that as well. So I'm going to give this one another point. All right. So you get a higher purity with the gold buffalo at the same cost. Okay. So let's continue onward. We're going to talk now about the design. Now the design also is going to be entirely uh, based on opinion. When it comes to the design though, this is the St. Gaudens classic design. In fact, I have a St. Gaudens right here from 1907. Check that out. All right. So this is the very classic design made by Augustus St. Gaudens. Oh boy. Oh, I'm just going to not even edit that out. Let that just fall as it as it did. But very, very uh, classic, classic design. Very, very pretty. Um, and then the buffalo... This design is what you would see on the Buffalo Nickel. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe the Buffalo Nickel design basically started around 1913, I believe. Please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong down below. I know many of you would love to jump on the opportunity to do so, but originally 1913 was when this was minted on um, nickels. And this is a very, very classic design as well. So when it comes to the design between the two, um, I kind of like them both. Uh, if I were to pick one over the other, it's, tr it's very, very challenging for me. Um, I just feel that, ooh, I, uh, I'll have to come back to this one. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. The next thing, that I would like to talk about is the popularity or the notor notoriety of the coin. Popularity, right? Popularity. Um, I. It is my opinion that the American Gold Eagle is actually a little bit more recognizable than the Buffalo. Again, just my opinion. Um, I don't have facts to back that up. The one thing that I would say, though, um, and I didn't double check this and some of you might be able to run some numbers but if i'm not mistaken i believe many more of these have been minted because i believe these started in 1986 and the buffalo started in 2006 so i believe that then just based on the fact that these were minted first many more of these are in existence than the gold buffaloes. So these are a little bit more recognizable than the gold buffaloes worldwide. So we're going to give the point to the American Gold Eagle. Next, I want to talk about sizes. Um, when it comes to the sizes, okay, the gold buffalo only comes in the one ounce. I believe there was like one set one year where the buffaloes were actually minted in different sizes. I believe there were fractions. Somebody had mentioned in a comment. I Googled it real quick. I couldn't really find anything on it. Some of you will be able to fact check that as well and put the comments down below. But the gold buffaloes, if you go on the different dealers websites and what have you, um, they only come in the one ounce size. Okay. As it relates though to the American gold eagles, you've got the one ounce gold eagle. You have the half ounce gold eagle. There are quarter ounce gold eagles. And there are 10th ounce gold eagles. I actually sold off all of my 10th ounce gold eagles. But you also have 10th ounce, ounce gold eagles. Um, when it comes to the sizes, it is my opinion then that the American gold eagle has the uh, upper 
edge there, um, or the edge, I should say, because you have the option to be able to buy gold in different sizes depending on your budget. Now, some will say that the best thing for you to do is to buy gold at the one ounce uh, levels because you are paying the uh, least amount of premium at those weights. I agree with that. Um, I do try to buy the one ounce coins when I can. Um, but the nice thing, again, about the fractional is that you have the ability to buy less uh, gold for less money based on your budget. So some people like the gold eagles because you can buy them in the different fractional sizes. And then uh, people feel that they could stack gold without uh, missing the boat, so to speak. So uh, in terms of the fractional sizes, American Gold Eagle has that going for them. Um, when it comes to the design, though, I do like the uh, design of the buffalo better. Um, I'm just going to give the point to the buffalo. Okay. Um, now, having said all of this, right, and some of you might have another metric or way that you would like to um, compare the two as to which is the better buy. Right now I've got these tied at three apiece. So why am I going for the gold buffalo more than the American gold eagle? Especially being that the gold buffalo only comes in the one ounce sizes. Well, it basically comes down to the top two reasons, which I think in terms of stacking, that is like the most critical thing when it comes to stacking precious metals. When you are buying gold and silver, you want to buy gold at the cheapest uh, rate that you possibly can. So why I'm buying gold buffaloes whenever I can is mainly because of the cost and the purity. Why would I go to the store and buy American Gold Eagles when I can get a buffalo, which, oh, thank you, self. When we're also on the fact of the talking about the purity, the carat of gold, right? This is 24 carat. These are 22. So you also have a higher grade gold. Um, some people might, this to me would be silly, but they would talk about durability, right? This is kind of, let's see, can I still, yeah. Now, durability. This would win in terms of the durability because it's mixed with copper. It's not as soft. If you guys have buffaloes, you definitely want to make sure you're not storing them in flips. You want to put them in capsules um, because it is a softer metal. But you can see that we're kind of tied up with four points apiece. Um, but it comes down to the cost and the purity because the gold buffaloes, being that they now are in line with the cost of American gold eagles and the fact that they are four nines fine, it to me is a no-brainer. Um, so if you have the opportunity to buy a gold buffalo, even if the price of the buffalo is slightly higher than a gold eagle, sometimes when I buy my uh, buffaloes and eagles, um, you know, my local coin shop will charge me a, a slightly bit more on the buffalo than the eagle, which is fine to me because, again, I'm kind of paying for the cost with the purity there. And I'd rather pay a little bit more with the uh with the gold buffaloes and have that extra purity there. You also will kind of get a little bit more of a return when you do go to sell them. So I hope this kind of helps some of you. If you are on the fence of buying between the two, let me know down below which you prefer. Um, but the, again, this is just why I'm buying gold buffaloes whenever I can. But down below, let me know which do you prefer and the reasons why. And if I misspoke in any of this video, please feel free to comment down below. But uh, yeah, gold buffaloes right now, until prices change, I'll be going with the buffaloes, which is why you can see all of a sudden uh, over the last 
a handful of months, I went from owning no buffaloes to owning a bunch of buffaloes. So anyhow, guys, those are my thoughts. Let me know. And again, this is just why I'm buying gold buffaloes whenever I can. Let me know what you're buying, and I'll talk to you soon. And I just want to quickly thank these elite channel supporters. And if you haven't become a channel member, please check out the awesome perks and join today. With that, I'm the Stacking Stormtrooper. Check out these videos. Until next time, long live the Empire.